All right, folks, today we're going to talk about the equilibrium constant. We've got some to do without math, and then we've got some math coming up as well. So write the equilibrium expression for each of the following reactions. We need to remember that it's always products over reactants. All right, so we're going to start here with this one, and we're going to say it is the concentration of NO, and remember that this 4 coefficient means that we raise it to the fourth power. And we take our concentration of water, and we raise it to the sixth power. Right. And we divide it by the concentration of NH3, which is to the fourth power, and concentration of O2, which is to the fifth power. Now, it's important, I forgot to mention, these are all gases. If they weren't gases, we couldn't do this. You can only do this for gases and things that are aqueous. So you need to make sure that you remember to check to see what the, th what the things are. This is your equilibrium constant, so we're done. Right. Again, look at the second one. You'll notice they're all gases. So we start with NO2, which is our only product. And it's raised to the 2 power. It's raised to the second power. It's squared because of the 2 there. Now we have the concentration of NO, which is squared, times the concentration of O2, which is not squared because there's no coefficient in front of the O2. This is our equilibrium constant. And finally, our equilibrium constant for this last one uh, we have no coefficients, so nothing's going to be squared. Nothing is going to be uh, raised to any power. CH2O is a product. It is a gas. H2 is a product. It is a gas. We are dividing by CH3OH, which is also a gas, and it is a reactant. So that is our equilibrium constant for that expression. Now that we've seen how to do that, uh, we now need to plug in some numbers. So again, let's look at our equilibrium constant for this particular expression. Our equilibrium constant is going to be the products. Concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Remember to raise things to powers if they have a coefficient, which none of these do. And they are all gases. So our equilibrium constant, when we go and plug in some values for this, we're going to have the first one, which is 0.441. It is not raised to a power. We have the second one, which is 0 0.0331, which also is not raised to a power. And we have our bottom, which is 00251, which also is not raised to a power. That's 215, sorry. 215. And when we divide this whole thing out, we get 6.79. That's our equilibrium constant. There are no units here because equilibrium constants do not have units. Sorry, let's go to number three. All right, here we do have some coefficients. We specifically have a coefficient on the right hand side, which is a product. So our equilibrium constant, let's see, they're all gases. So that's NO, and it's going to be squared divided by the concentration of N2 divided by the concentration of O2. So that's going to be 4.7 times 10 to the minus 4. And we have to square that entire thing. I have to remember to do that. And then we have to divide it by 0 0.041. And we have to divide it by, man, that's the second time we've done that. 0 0.041. My mouth says it, but my pen doesn't do it. 0, 0, 0078. When I multiply that whole thing out, remember to square the top, that's important. I get 6.9 times 10 to the minus fourth as my final answer. All right, how about equilibrium expressions for these? Now here you have to be careful because some of them are not gases. So when I look here, I notice I've got water, which is a liquid, and I've got sulfuric acid, which is a liquid, so I ignore them. So all I'm looking at is the SO3, which is a gas. So my equilibrium constant is my products, which are none, divided by the concentration of SO3, which is a reactant. So that's my equilibrium constant. Got to be careful. All right, my equilibrium constant for the next one. Uh, let's see, we have this as a solid, so that disappears. So we're left with our products. Let's see, and they're all gases. H2O products divided by 
concentration of NH3. Now be careful because that has to be squared. And the concentration of carbon monoxide, uh, carbon dioxide gas. All right. So that's it for that one. How about your last one? Well, we notice that's a solid. We notice that's a solid. So what are we left with? Well, our equilibrium constant is equal to the products, which is I2, and that has to be squared. And there are no reactants, so we don't put anything down there. So it's over 1. That's it for that one. All right, now how about this Haber process? I'm going to not go and spend a lot of time reading this. I'm assuming you can do that. What we want to be able to do is graph what's going on here. So let's look at our left-hand side. Our left-hand side of this graph is going to be concentration. C, O, N, concentration. And down here we're going to have time. And our time is going to start at time zero and go to one minute, and then two minutes, and then three minutes, and then four minutes, and then five minutes. And our concentration is going to go from zero to 0.1, to 0.2, to 0.3, to 0.4, to 0.5, to 0.6, 0.7, and 0.8, 0.9, and finally 1. And 1 means it is full concentration. All right, so let's look, for example, at our concentration of nitrogen. So let's just do nitrogen alone. And we start with a concentration of 1 which means we start up here with a concentration of 1 and then we go to 97 after a minute and then we go to 94 after a second minute and then we go to 92 after a third minute and then we stay at 92 so we should be able to see that here starting at 3 minutes we are essentially level so by the time we get to 3 minutes we were in equilibrium that's what this graph tells us because we were losing Sorry, up until that point. Guys, that's supposed to be just a nice little smooth curved line. Very hard for me to do with one of these pens. All right. Um, let's see if we can do this. Let's switch in color. And let's go to, uh, let's go to blue. And let's look at hydrogen. Hydrogen also starts at 1. And after a minute, it goes down to 91. And after two minutes, it goes down to 82. And after three minutes, it goes down to about 76. All right. Um, so you'll notice that, again, we have this nice little curved line going down here. But by the time we hit three minutes, sorry, by the time we hit three minutes, we have leveled off. Okay. How about ammonia? Well, what happens when we hit ammonia? Let's go to red for ammonia. Ammonia is one of those things you don't want to mess around with. Now, notice our concentration at the beginning started with zero. So when we started, we had all nitrogen and hydrogen. Right? So it starts to convert to ammonia, but then at some point we reach an equilibrium where the nitrogen and hydrogen aren't changing anymore to make more ammonia and the ammonia isn't reverting back all the way to nitrogen and hydrogen we've reached an equilibrium so let's start down here at zero and after a minute go to point zero six and after another minute go to point one two and after a mo another moment go to point one six and we're just going to stay there all right so this is a nice straight line going over there believe it or not Well, that's a really a lousy line, isn't it, Skip? All right. Anyway, you get the idea. The bottom line is that after three minutes, we notice that over here to the right, we're at equilibrium. We're not changing anymore. So there's no more ammonia being produced. The hydrogen and nitrogen are not being used anymore, so we've reached an equilibrium as of about three minutes. Okay? Hopefully that helps you understand it. If you have questions, please see us in class. We'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Take